Hey runners, Pete here. Thursday, November 14th, and I just got back from a five mile run a short time ago. Uh, originally I was going to put in four miles, but the weather here in Phoenix where we live is absolutely gorgeous. So to extend another mile, my body was feeling good, and uh, yeah, temperatures are in the low 50s in certain outlying areas, even in the 40s. So for us, this is great weather. Um, if you plan to come out and visit, definitely come out the next four or five months and you'll love it. So just a short video today. Uh, the content that I'll be covering is cadence or strides per minute. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the term, it's simply the number of steps that we take as runners. Uh, you may have heard some of your friends, uh, local runners saying that they have 180 steps per minute or 160, 170, whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of coaches and research shows that the ideal number of steps to take in a minute is roughly 180. Um, you may be asking, well, how do I know that? Well, when you go out for a run, um, the best way to kind of measure that is uh, pick a foot left or right and count for one minute the number of steps that you take. So if you're picking your right foot, for example, count the number of steps in a minute and multiply that number by two. Let's say that number is 90. If you multiply that by two, it's 180. And that's about where you want to be. Uh, for me, I will share with you that my number is quite low. It's about 164 to 165 steps per minute. Now, from what I understand about the turnover with such a low um, number, is that I may be actually uh, taking longer steps over striding and spending more time in the air and I guess greater ground contact contact time and we as runners want to shorten that we want to shorten our strides we want less time in the air um, and so what I've been doing is there's some drills uh, that I've been working on that I can certainly share with you and provide that in the link um, and and it basically is just shortening up the strides and landing more um, kind of say flat-footed, but not so much on my heels. Um, when you shorten your strides, the chance of you really landing on your heel lessens. Um, not that landing on your heels uh, is bad for you. Um, I know there's some mixed research out there that it is or it isn't, but it really comes down to overstriding. And if you shorten up your stride and have higher turnover, um, you're going to be more of an efficient runner uh, for the pace that you're running at now over striding when you correct that and have shorter um, strides and higher cadence the effort that it takes to do that pace that you did uh, will become easier and thus being even faster uh, with your running so to share with you my typical pace is around 100 i'm sorry is around uh, 9.15 to 9.30. Um, today was 8.52. And my strides per minute was 172. That's great. Anytime I can be north of 170 is a win. So I was excited about that. I think I had one mile that was over nine minutes. And the rest were uh, quicker than that. Now, I wasn't trying to run fast. I think it just uh, came with the, the higher turnover. And I felt pretty good. Uh, my heart rate wasn't extremely high. Um, you know, I put a little bit more effort into it. I definitely have been thinking more about my turnover. So I felt great about it. And uh, if you're having issues or struggles with your cadence, or don't really know what it is, try that uh, exercise that I mentioned earlier and go out uh, and count the number of steps that you take in a minute. It's easier to count with one foot and do that for, say, a minute 
and multiply by two and that'll give you your strides per minute. Again, we wanna to try to be close to that 180 mark as much as possible. Uh, at the same time, if you have a low number like myself, around 163, 165, uh, we don't wanna ramp up to 180. Um, you know, there's a chance that we can get injured. It's a good rule of thumb to increase that number by two or three or four and, and then adjust it accordingly. That way you can ease into it. So uh, anyways, uh, this is a pretty short video and I am fairly new to the YouTube channel. Uh, I hope to provide additional content in the future. If you have any comments, uh, please uh, be sure to provide that uh, down below and also hit the like button if you like what you see and also subscribe to my channel so that you can receive updates as well. Until next time, go out there, be safe, and have a great run. Take care.